What's up, YouTube? We're back with another creating your 5M framework. This time we're going to be updating our uh, server side character uh, creation. So there are a couple of different things in here, and we're just going to basically go over them. A lot of the stuff that you guys already have, you guys will already have this uh, built in. There's just some changes that have been made. Um, you can see there's some comments. Obviously, uh, for testing purposes i keep everything commented i don't really delete anything just a good habit that everyone should sort of get used to i'm going to zoom in here for you guys in a second there we go um, let's do one more so in our character you'll see a couple of different things here so uh obviously i just commented out this character joined and we actually just have a different one so uh, <clears throat> what changed here is you could actually just sort of see this. Instead of Steam, we are actually just getting the license of the person. So uh, basically if it's a correct copy of the game. Um, and the only reason we're doing that is actually just to remove Steam as, um, well, you can get GTA on practically anything now. Um, Epic Games and even more, I think, with the Windows Store. So all, all sorts of stuff. Uh, Steam was just sort of outdated so we just changed that basically to our license and then checking if they get license um, and similar with uh, our server selection um, so this gets the CID from the slot basically and it was obviously commented out um, CID is currently getting reworked so we might be able to remove that actually and uh, have a better way of loading characters um, which you guys will see more so when the UI comes updated if CID will or will not be needed um, so you can just see right here basically we just get the license instead of the CID and we send it to load the character um, so then same thing with the get character we're actually getting characters and where license equals license so um, getting all the characters of this person with the same license basically um, nothing really changed here um, instead of Steam, just license. Um, now you will see a couple of these comments and these are actually very interesting. Um, so you'll see, move this to config, question mark, and then move this to changes.lua. So changes.lua will actually hold this and a lot more things that it's just gonna be easier for um, people who wanna customize their, their main power to have different tables and different selections it's just going to be all in there and really easy for them to edit um so you can see we sort of commented in here with delete character um and right now we are passing a character id slot for this but uh there's a high chance this just changes um but yeah everything really changed uh stayed the same here except for social number and we're actually deleting where the SSN is. So um, <clears throat> what SSN is, is a it's basically what it is, a social security number just for your 5M player. And it's 100% uh, unique per player. And we'll, uh, we'll scroll down and you guys could actually understand what this actually means and uh, how we actually have a lot of things here. <clears throat> so the first thing is this generate banking ID. So every player will start off with one banking ID and uh, within the system, depending if you use uh, if you use our banking script and our government script, um, people will be able to create other bank accounts and add people onto them. Um, <clears throat> so banking ID, this basic one is just per, uh, per player banking ID. Um, and it's more so used when transferring, uh, transferring money. Uh, that's really about it, but also paychecks and everything like that. Um, you could actually, if you use our banking script, you could actually have your paycheck from your job split into multiple bank accounts if you wanted to. Um, so there's a whole lot going into main power and how we're actually making it so it's more highly realistic, but also how you want it to go. Um, then you'll also see generate phone number. This is very basic, it just generates phone number. Now, <clears throat> the newer part, which is basically, this is like the key part for this, is our generate social security number. So we, you can see we have a part one and part two. And this part one obviously has two numbers, and then the part uh, two has four. And really this should be just zero, but um, you can see then it puts it into string format. So how this actually works is 
MPX, since that is the core name, we're just doing that. Uh, so it's MPX dash um, the two numbers and then dash the four numbers, right? So MPM dash the part one and then part two. So it's basically, it, it is a social security number. And then, uh, so all these are also somewhat different. I don't know if this was actually in, I know unique ID, banking ID and phone was, I believe. But uh, basically then we check if is unique. Um, so you'll see with a local result, we'll just select all from players with this. And if uh, it returns nothing, then nothing happens. And this works, this is the exact same for uh, our banking ID and our phone as well. So you can come into when create, creating the character, we pass the C data, which is the creation uh, data. And you can see we have our local banking ID phone and we should have had, let me do this, local social security number. And this basically generates this, right? Uh, so while it's not unique, uh, we basically reset it, right? So if it's not unique, then we basically redo it until it is unique. Uh, so no matter what, every single character will have a unique value and that's how it should be. Um, going through there, then we have our source, our identifier, which this is actually gonna get commented out. Um, this needs to get commented out as this is a Steam. Um, so we, we'll use license and uh, CID right now is sort of just sitting here. Uh, once again, don't know if this is actually 100% needed right now. Uh, while I'm in this testing phase, we're still testing, trying to get rid of this basically. Um, but then you can see we have a query to insert into players where all this stuff, and there's gonna be actually more in here as well. Um, but that will be brought up later. And then we just send it to our character setup. Um, if you guys have any questions, just hop in the Discord. Um, there are, there should be a stream coming up. I believe we're going to be doing the website for Main Power, the updated one. Um, so just keep your eyes on that. Uh, that's really about it. If you do see that and you're in the Main Power Discord, uh, if you have dev pings on, that will 100% ping you if you would like. Same with joining my Discord, you get a notification for YouTube uh, when I go live and when new videos come out. But other than that, that is it for me. Have a great rest of your day. If you have any questions, hop in the Discord, put a comment in there, show some love.